Hi, I'm Robin Wood and I'm going to show you how to sharpen one of these. This is my open curve hook knife, um, spoon carving knife. And I'm going to show you how to get it razor sharp with some really cheap, simple sharpening systems here. So a lot of people uh, struggle with sharpening these hook knives, but actually they're remarkably easy. The technique I use is hold the handle palm up like this. So the crucial thing here is to feel when the bevel registers on the, on the stone. We want to tip it forwards just until the edge just touches the stone. And with practice then you can, you can feel when that gets there. So we tip it to there and then we hold the angle and then you sharpen at that angle. Sharpen all the way along the bevel in one sweep. You, you can do it like this, but you tend to result in lots of little flat areas. So what we've got to do now is find out if we've removed metal all the way to the edge. That's the crucial thing. The first way that I test for that is feeling to see if there's a burr there. Dragging my finger obviously away from the cutting edge very carefully um, and you can maybe feel just a tiny little burr like a little hook on the edge just catching at your finger. If you feel a burr all the way along the edge then you know you've removed metal from the edge. The other way to tell um, is with magnification. This is a little jeweler's loop, um, 20 times magnification. And I look at the edge and I can see the scratch pattern from the abrasive, the sort of diagonal marks of the, the scratches from the abrasive and I want to see that those go all the way to the edge. And if they do then I'm ready to move on to the next the finer abrasive. And now I'm going on a 1200 grip. Just doing the same thing again. And I do this probably about 15 or 20 times. I just want to remove all the scratches, the very coarse scratches from the 800 paper. And a nice consistent action going all the way to the edge. And when I look at that now I can see I can see it's much more polished all the way to the edge with finer, finer scratch pattern. That's good. So we're now ready to move on to the finest paper I've got, which is two and a half thousand grit. And just the same action again. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take the burr off on the inside. And what I'm going to use for that, some people use emery paper wrapped around a dowel. I would advise not to do that. I use something much finer. This, this is what I use, which is a ceramic sharpening uh, knife sharpener, which you can buy from Ikea for £10. Uh, it's very, very fine and it does the job incredibly well. So I'm going to rest that flat on the inside of the bevel there and just a bit backwards and forwards to give it a polish on the inside. That's it, that's all it needs. And now we're ready to go on to polishing that bevel. So this is auto sole metal polish that you can buy from any car uh, place and B&Q and Holfords. So, uh, it's a very, very fine abrasive, uh, the equivalent to about 15,000 grit. Um, and I'm going to smear it on that piece of MDF and on this which is a piece of broom handle. Again just polish the inside edge there. I tend to use a twist in motion and push kind of diagonally across the blade like that, holding this flat on the bevel again. That's just polishing the, removing the scratches, the very very fine scratch pattern produced by the ceramic knife sharpener. And then onto the outside bevel on the flat here. And this is just the same action again that we used 
before. Just 10 or 15 strikes is plenty. So very carefully now, just give that a, a wipe to clean the abrasive off. And that's sharp and polished and ready to use. Now in between sharpenings, then every now and then, before going back to the stones, um, then you can just use the auto sole metal polish just to give it a, a hone. Um, I'd do that probably every 15 or 20 spoons or so. Carving wood doesn't blunt knives touching other bits of metal blunt knives so always keep some sort of sheath and put your knife away safely. Okay so when we've, uh, we've polished that and the last thing to do is just to test it out. Should just go through the wood with so little effort and leave a beautiful polished finish. Um, it really isn't rocket science, it's a lot easier than most people think. So I hope hope you feel empowered to go away and have a go and um, and that you can get your knives sharp enough to do that with. It's just great fun when you can get your knives really, really sharp.